Hi everyone, my name is Lanisha Rogers and welcome back to my channel where I will be sharing with you again tips and activities for preschool learners and families with autism. So let's get right into today's activity. Today's fun activity that we are going to do today is called clothes pins and box. Okay, yes, the name of this activity is called clothes pins that I have here and box. Now with this activity, I have the clothespins in the box where children will be learning how to use their fine motor skills to clip the clothespins onto the box. Okay, you can use a shoe box, a gift box. You don't have to have like a, a you know, a big decorative box. It could be a simple box, a simple shoe box or a gift box you can use for this activity. Okay, and with this activity, it is really good for your child's fine motor and sensory development. There are so many different extensions to this activity that I'm going to show you right now that I think will be really good for your child to engage in both in home as well as in the classroom. Okay, so as you can see with my shoe, with my box here, I have like a small gift box here, and I have a uh, color dotted. Um, stickers that's going around my box okay and on my stickers I have alphabets I have lowercase letters on my stickers here on my dotted stickers here and I also have a small basket of clothes pins and what you can have your child do is match the uppercase letter that I have here like uppercase H with the lowercase letter like the lowercase h. And what I have here is uppercase h and lowercase h. And I'm going to have my child clip the uppercase h with the lowercase h. Okay, this is a great way to not only support and strengthen your child's fine motor and sensory, but they're also learning letters. Yes, they're learning their alphabets. They're learning both upper and lowercase alphabets, okay? So, which is really, really good. There's so many different ways you can extend this activity, okay, of clothespin box, okay? So it's really simple. Like with the next letter here, we have letter E. So we're gonna have my child fish around for the letter E, okay? And that's what you're gonna do with your child. Have your child fish around for the uppercase E. Okay, because we have here lowercase e. So I'm going to look in my box, well, in my uh, basket, and I'm going to find my uppercase e. And I'm going to have my child clip the, lower, the uppercase e onto the lowercase e. Okay, and so forth. Now, again, there are so many different ways you can extend this activity for their fine motor and sensory development. Okay, you can use numbers. Okay, you can have you can write the numbers on the dotted stickers as well as on your clothes pins. Instead of using the alphabet, you can use numbers to have them match number to number, or you can even use colors, color coded. So if I have my yellow and my uh, fuchsia, you can also color code your clothes pins to match those colors as well, so that they be able to learn colors. Okay, or you could just simply have them clip clothespins onto a box. Just have them simply clip clothespins onto a box, again, for fine motor strengthening and sensory development, okay? So if you wish to see any more fun activities for your child where we can continue to support our children with their fine motor and sensory development, please make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button to my channel so you can keep up with all the activities that I'm going to be sharing with everyone. And also, again, if you as well have activities you would love to share with us as a community, please do so, okay? Please do so. We would love to see those activities and I would love to share them in my class with my students as well, as well as with my children for in-home individual support. Okay, so until then, everyone, enjoy this activity.